In this lesson, I'm taking a little break from the um, beginning C++ uh, for Game Programmers book, and, and we're going to look at some examples from, from this one, Thinking in C++ 2nd Edition Volume 1 by Bruce Eckel, which is available free online, and I'll have links to that on my site. Um, let's see. I think we'll start with um, S copy. So um, the reason I'm, I'm introducing this uh, now is because it's a nice little feature that you can use. Let's say if you wanted to um, maintain scores in between games. So you play a game and you get out and you still and you want to know who the high scorer was. Um, you want to, you know, you want to store on disk somewhere where who who the high scorer was, so you can keep that between games. So we have this um, header here in this program. We're going to use the string. We're going to use strings um, to read things in, and we're going to use um, f stream, uh, which is f is for file, and it's maintaining streams. Um, so the streams we've seen so far are the, you know, with uh, the IO streams C in and C out. Um, we can actually read and write, uh, read from file and write to files. So I'm um, in in our inside of our main. We're declaring an IF stream, which is an input F stream. So this is where we're going to. Um, this is equivalent to C in. This is where we're going to get our. Um, data from, and I'm naming the file um, scopy.cpp. So scopy.cpp is the is um, actually this um, code file. Let's see if I can find it. No, it's not full string. It's scopy. Let's go there. Um, so in the as copy project, this is the um, compiled, or this is the uncompiled, this is the, the code for the S copy program. And I'm going to actually copy this file. I could have done any random text file or whatever, but I'm, I'm copying this S copy file, S copy.cpp. So that's the file that I'm, I'm, I'm um, reading. And notice there's no, um, um, Path given here. There's no uh, list. Of, you know, there's no setup of, of directories. It's just naming this file. So when it's just naming the file like that, and you're in uh, Visual uh, C++, what that means is, oops, what that means is we're um, we're in this directory. So we're going to find. So if I wanted to, if there was a different file that I wanted to uh, read or write, and I'm I'm just referencing it this way with just quotes and just the file name, I'd have to stick it in this directory here. Um, so here we have the input file stream is named in and it's uh, attached to this file. The output stream is scopy2.cpp and notice at this point that file um, doesn't exist which is perfectly okay because we're going to, that's the output file, we're going to create that file when we um, when we uh, write to it. So then, and then we have this um, uh, variable s, a, which is a string. Okay, so we have a while loop here and it says while get line in comma s. So what, what that does is um, get line tries to read from the input stream, which is in, so it tries to read from this scopy.cpp, and it reads, actually it reads characters up to the new line character, and then um, loads all those characters into the string s. So um, the first time through, since it's reading this file, it'll read all these characters up to the new line character and then it throws away the new line character. It doesn't include 
the new line character in the string s. So if we want to have a new line character, if we want to write out a new line character to our output stream, we have to add it onto the end. Okay, so we add it back like that. So now when we run this, and notice I didn't put a system pause or anything down here at the bottom because we don't need it. We're just going to run through um, like that. And then if we go back and look at our S copy directory, now we have this S copy too. CPP, and I'll just open it with uh, J edit so you can just see. Uh, it's a copy of our original file, so we copied that original file. And like I said, this could have been any text file. I just have I just chose the .cpp because I know it's in in the uh, the directory that I want. It's in my in directory, so that made life easy. So that's how you um, can use um, F stream uh, to create input streams, output streams, um, get data from them, and write data out to them.